Hello, welcome. My husband was interested in doing mushrooms, growing mushrooms. He's a elk hunter and stuff, so uh -huh. he looks at them in the woods. I'm from Oregon. And mm -hmm. So he goes, I want to grow my own. So he was on YouTube one day looking for, um, you know, mushroom growing videos and logs and stuff. And he came across your YouTube. <laughs> well, so mush mushrooms grow, grow great in this stuff. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this yeah. is the perfect environment for them. <laughs> and so anyway, that's how I came to know about you. And oh. I came up to visit her and... I go, I'm going to have to check and see if his garden's up by here. And so here we are. Well, welcome. <laughs> cool. What do you use for the bark? What? It's, not, it's not bark. It's, tr it's tr chip tree branches. Okay. From what kind of trees? All trees. Okay. There's no tree you can't use. Well, I was told, I live up in Alaska, and I was told that alder will nourish the soil and any other bark will take the nutrients out of the soil as it breaks down. And as you look and as you look around in Alaska, how beautiful the forest is, and all those trees drop their needles and leaves and no one rakes them up and everything looks really good. Right. So you can rest assured what you're told is a lie. Okay. I'm I'm telling you, if you simply look at nature, nature is very plain, very clear, very visible. Right. And it's and all the stuff they tell you are lies. It's it's incredible. Yep. You know, for instance, like you see my forest out there. You see those those lighter lighter foliage trees are, are cedar. And everybody tells you cedar has tannic acid. That's toxic. And in the fall, after a, a hot summer, the interior needles turn turn brown. The wind blows them all off in the ground. Look how green all the trees are around them. Ex excuse me. And here, here's my senses with the composting process. By the time that material gets to the roots, it's gone through the compost. The tannic acid is not there. The creator who designed this system didn't miss anything. Amen. It comes from a place of all wisdom, all knowledge. Nothing's wrong with it. It really works well. And it's all about recycle. From dust we came, from dust returned. Everything works that way. And nothing's toxic. Amen. And all these lies they tell you are insane because they're not true. You know? And it's just they just want to make it hard for us. So I have everything here. Any kind of tree in the world is chipped up here and put in the ground and everything grows great. You just you, you know you look at the color of the leaves on those trees. I mean that is a dark green. Look at that cherry. Look look at you know, and they're telling you that wood chips cause a nitrogen nitrogen tie up. Excuse me, if that's a tie up, I wonder what it looks like when it's not. Right. <laughs> I mean it's just it's crazy the stuff they tell you, because the evidence is so obviously different. Yet. You know, I asked the creator about, the, about the, the stuff you can't use. He has a very interesting sense of humor. He told me, have you noticed I don't have a landfill somewhere off in the, plant, in the universe I'm taking all the stuff you can't use? And I just started laughing. I just started busting up. Everything in nature falls in the ground and breaks down and composts and everything's good. <laughs> it's so simple. For sure. I have friends that will take like uh, fuchsia, potted fuchsia, mm -hmm. and they'll take them out into the woods and bury them like next to a tree in all the stuff uh -huh. that's there, and they overwinter them there. Cool. And yeah, it's like, oh, that's real different than... Sure. It works. Well, you know, the thing that amazes me is, is that how we, you know, we don't get it. You know, nothing in nature is without food all year long. All winter long they eat. You know, and you look up at Canada, 40 below zero, everything in the woods, nothing dies. But everybody's farm with exposed dirt, everything freezes and dies. Right. It's like, wake up, people. Right. Wake up. What are you doing? This is just... <laughs> but we live in southeast Alaska, so it's not as cold. Uh -huh. But we use seaweed often. Um, that's, that's really good. good that is nutrient-dense, good yeah. stuff. Yeah. Exactly. It just takes two years to break, break down. down. So, and I didn't know if I was doing something wrong or... Because I just lay it on top. No, seaweed is... Again, if you look in nature, Nothing's ever mixed. Nothing's ever buried. It's just layered. Right. It's so simple. Why do we work so hard to fail? Right. It's pathetic. I mean, it's just, it's just like so crazy. All the things we do that make no sense. And they don't work. Right. And we keep doing it. <laughs> yep. So what do you do then 
like to keep the deer from those dogs and the bears the dogs the dogs dogs are really great okay a good dog on your place will keep the deer away because fences are expensive and they're kind of a nightmare because you have to find gates and there's really limited access and they don't look good, you know. So I just really, a dog's really, really great. I have a um, crab apple in a large <coughs> planter that my husband built. Uh huh. And the deer, there's deer prints in. I'm oh, sure I know. The deer, deer love apples. They do, and they can smell when they're ripe. Oh, I know. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they, they get there first. I, I last year, you know, we, we had a really, really wonderful dog, and she died. And last year I didn't have one. The deer defoliated every, took the leaves off of every one of my trees. Yeah. Oh. I mean, it was totally incredible. The raspberries, oh. they've been coming over the years and eating the raspberries. And then last year they ate all the new growth off yeah. of them. And I talked to them and I say, listen, the Bible tells me I'm supposed to take dominion over you. So you cannot have my stuff. You can have all the salmon berries, but the raspberries are mine. It's so funny. I have to talk to them every they, year. They don't, they don't understand English. Well, no, but I'm... Working at it. No. Yeah, a good dog is really effective. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're, they, they do really well. Shade's not a good dog anymore. <laughs> she needs to train somebody. I know. Grizz got that way, too. He was too old to... But Andre and Judy, they kept the deer at the... Right. I mean, they would come through every once in a while, so you know that they probably did. Well, what's interesting to me is, is, is how smart they are. You see right there in, on the edge of my neighbor's property, there's an apple tree. Yep. The deer come through there. They pass that tree, don't even look at it, and come here. Yeah. The apples they are know there. what's more nutrient-dense. Yeah. They're not stupid. They, yeah. they understand nutrient density. They get it. Yeah. <laughs> it's only humans that don't. So are your trees naturally growing down or did you... Well, well I'm going to take you back to what you said. Dominion. If you look at my trees, they have the appearance that they're humbly serving me. They're all bent over serving me. If you look at the top of my hand, yep. that's as high as my trees are. Yep. And that's intentional. Because I read that scripture and I yep. says, I'm not using a ladder here. And so when they got this big, I cut to a ladder growing out and that became the leader. I let nothing go above it. And see, as the branches grow out and, and the apples are heavy, it bends the branches down. The weight of the, of the, of the apples bend the branches over. Okay. But you can look at all my trees. Everything's accessible. I can reach every one of them. Convenient. And you have, is this onions planted by this one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that um, like pest control? No. What I learned here a few years ago, God showed me, is that everything does so much better under trees than in full sun. It is dramatic. You'll see as you walk through here, you won't believe how much produce I have growing under my trees. And the trees do better having stuff grow under them. Right, that's it's a symbiotic relationship. Yeah, it's so, and it's so amazing how we want to do everything in monocultures, everything isolated, which is completely unnatural. Right. It's nuts. So it's just, you know, and again, I just, I, I tell people you get so much more use out of your space by growing stuff under trees. And I'm telling people the first thing you want to plant in your vegetable garden are fruit trees. You know, because your vegetables, do, and what I love about, you know, um, when it gets really hot and you can't grow greens outside in full sun, but under your trees in the shade, you can. So it just so extends your volume and your growing season. It's just, I love God. He, he's, he's amazing. He's, and it's all about multiplication. It's just so cool. Yeah, we have so much rain. We have 170 inches as our Oh my goodness, topsoil. that is huge. Wow. So we don't have much topsoil. Uh -huh. So we have to be creative. Well, this makes great topsoil. And it can handle the rain well. We have a rainforest that gets 14 feet of annual rainwater just down the road. And there's no standing water in the, or in, in the, in the forest. Because yeah. the wood chips displace it all. Yeah, God really has this down. He, he's... he's Awesome. <laughs> Most definitely he is awesome. Yeah. And I'm so thankful that he pursues us in relationship. I know. So good. So good. So if you want to have a have a, a treat, go over there and, and pick those flowers. They're they're a little bit peppery but, but the stem is really sweet. 
They're delicious. So you eat the stem and the flower? This, you'll see that the, the flower is a little bit peppery, but the stem is totally sweet. Okay. You'll love it. Thank you. Do you like the yellow or the orange? They're both the same as far as flavor. Hi. Hello. How are you? Go, go, go eat fl the flowers over here are really good. Oh. I, want you, I want you to sample food because it really tastes good here. And it's different than what you've had. And I want you to realize, you know, nutrient-dense food is really delicious. The, 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 the flower is kind of peppery, but the stem's sweet. Okay. Tastes like a radish. Isn't that good? Yeah. And, you, and, you, and you notice how the stem gets really sweet? The flower tastes a bit like a radish. Yeah. Well, you know, my, my, my wife likes them in the salad because it, she's artistic. And it really makes a green salad look cool. And it gives a, gives a salad a little bit of a spunk, you know. It's not, it takes the blandness away from the greens, you know. And in the salad, it really sets it off the, the, the appearance, you know. Yeah, I've seen people putting them in salads yeah. and that. But, um, and, you know, they're edible, but yeah. I haven't ever done it, I mm -hmm. don't think. All right, we started today. Do you taste any difference in the... <laughs> This seems you to be stronger. So oh, it does? The, the, the red one? The, I mean, orange one? Yeah, we got everything kind of laid yeah, out this today. Is stronger. Hi. Hello. Hi. Welcome. You? I'm very well. How are you? Um, All right. Well, that's all I have for this video. Bang around that bell icon if you want to be notified when new videos come out. Call us on the hotline if you have comments or questions and want to be featured in an upcoming video. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Check us out on the website, and we'll see you guys on the next one.